I'm Tova with Professor Pincushion, and today I'm going to show you how to insert metal eyelets into your projects. Eyelets are a type of fastener allowing you to lace your garments or project. They are entirely practical and yet can also be used as a design feature. Even if you've never done eyelets before, you'll easily be able to master them. Let's go ahead and get started. If you've never put in eyelets before, it's best to purchase a package that comes as a kit. So you get some eyelets and then you get the tools to help you put those eyelets in. Now there are two parts to the eyelet. We have the top of the eyelet and you can see that this middle part is taller than this one over here. This one definitely has a shallower middle part and this is the bottom and this is the top. The fabric that you're attaching your eyelets to needs to be reinforced with interfacing. You can see I already have interfacing attached to the wrong side of my fabric. This is just going to make our fabric more stable to hold that eyelet. If you're putting in an eyelet in connection with a pattern, your pattern piece should have a symbol on it where that eyelet should be placed. In my particular case, it's right here. You may have to look at your individual pattern to see what the symbol is going to look like. Now you need to make sure you transfer this to your fabric piece and I don't necessarily need to do this whole circle, but I at least want to mark the very center on my fabric. Next I'm going to be cutting my fabric right at that point. And the trick is you really don't want to make it too big because once it's too big then you're really in trouble. So I start small and then I try it out and then I try to make it bigger if I need to be. It just needs to be big enough to fit the center section. Not this top part where it's kind of bigger, but just the center section needs to be pushed through. So I'm using embroidery scissors just because I feel like I get more of a precise cut, but you can use regular scissors too. So I just fold my fabric and I just do a little cut just to get it started. And then I can stick my scissors in here and I usually kind of form like an X or a cross. And then I can try it out. So you can see it's a little bit of a hole right there. Then you're going to take the top of the eyelet and I'm looking at the right side of my fabric so i am be putting it in like this. So you're going, the middle part is going towards the wrong side of the fabric. So I'm just going to kind of push through to see if it'll fit and I can flip it over to the other side and you can see it coming through. So the size that I cut it was pretty good. Again, you want to start small and then just see if it works and then if you need to cut your fabric a little bit bigger, you could try that. The next part, you're going to want to place everything on a hard flat surface like a table and probably put something on the table just to protect the surface. So if you have any extra scrap fabric, just lay it on the table underneath this part. So first you're going to start with the anvil, which is this part right here. And it has two sides. There's a flat side and there's a side with a groove. So you're going to do it with the groove side up. And first I'm just going to show you without the fabric involved. So we have the top of the eyelet is going to be placed so it fits right in that groove and you can see the middle part is sticking up. And the fabric will be on it. Then I'm going to take the bottom of the eyelet and the center part is still going to go down towards. So it's just going to slip right over my top eyelet. So if you look at this, you're going to see a flat surface. Now you're going to take your tool part, which is this section, and you can see there's a groove. So that's going to fit right in there like that. And then you have your little tower with your eyelet in the middle. And you're going to take your hammer and you're just going to lightly tap the top of it. You really don't have to use a lot of force with this. Just gently tap it, make sure that it, nothing shifts or anything like that. And what's going to happen, how you know if it works, is this center part is going to spread out and lock in that bottom eyelet there. So it's all going to be sandwiched together. So now let's do it with my real world sample. So here's my eyelet that I put in my fabric. It's going to go down this way, so you're not going to see the anvil anymore, but it's fit right in that groove. The center part is sticking up, bottom of the eyelet, so the flat side is going to be on top, and I'm just going to slip it over the center part of my eyelet. If I can hold on to it here. There we go. And because there's fabric kind of sticking up around it, it's going to want to pop up, but 
Once you put your tool in, you can hold it into place. And then I'm just gonna hit it with the top of my hammer. Here's the front or the right side of my fabric and flip this over and we'll look at the wrong side. So now my eyelet is in there. Now, if you make a mistake, it's really hard to redo it. So you may wanna practice on a few scraps first, just so you get the hang of it. But once you get it in, you'll see it really is pretty easy to do. And if you have another eyelet to put on, you can go ahead and move on to that one. And that's all there is to it. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.